you very much, Paul and Pat. That's right, the rain will be moving in come the end of the week, but I'm sure you noticed the cloudy skies out there today, even a little bit of drizzle right along the coast. What that was was actually a very deep marine layer that pushed in this morning, kind of June-like weather, in fact, and the clouds barely clearing up, but there is rain on the way. It is still well to our north right now. It will be working its way into our area later on this week, again, as soon as about Thursday night into Friday. I'll break all that down for you. We'll take a look ahead into your week and forecast even coming up in just a little bit. Paul, back to you. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. I sound extra nasally. I know. I'm sorry, everyone. Uh, but no, I'm getting there, getting better. Horrible cold going around. Uh, try not to get it if you haven't. If you have, let me know how long it lasts because I'm about ready for it to be over. Uh, right now, we've got sky two over Claremont at this hour. And you can see the clouds and the fog in place. Uh, this has pretty much been the picture, especially at the coast throughout much of the day today. Uh, it's kind of a June gloom, May gray sort of pattern, isn't it? A little early for that. But what happened is uh, we have this marine layer push in, a very deep marine layer, almost 2,000 feet deep and not much burn off at all. So with that marine layer, uh, we even saw some patches of drizzle out there. So uh, that could be the case again for tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, it'll clear up. And then we've got the storm moving in on Thursday night. So uh, everyone's thinking this is the rain from the storm system moving in. No, uh, this is just a coastal eddy bringing in that onshore flow. Uh, low clouds and fog will be the case again throughout the night tonight into tomorrow morning. Temperatures today because of the cloud cover and that cooler onshore flow, uh, we stayed well below average uh, highs today only made it to around 60 degrees 68 is our normal high so again temperatures across much of the south end 5 to 10 degrees below average and it is cool and cloudy and a little bit wet out there right now isn't it uh, temperature is anywhere from 55 downtown 56 in Pasadena 40s now in Wrightwood 60 degrees in Riverside and along the coast mid to upper uh, 50s uh, and again temperatures aren't going to change too much overnight because we've got the clouds uh, in place really to hold in whatever heat we had today so overnight lows will be into the 40s and 50s and you can see these winds the arrow uh, coming in from the west so this is that onshore flow that westerly uh, wind anywhere between about 5 to up to 20 miles an hour there in Apple Valley uh, and also into Lancaster uh, the clouds are in place and they've been in place throughout much of the day today all from this coastal Eddie just bringing in that deeper marine layer uh, and what's going to happen. We'll see it in place again tomorrow morning. Then the winds will shift a little more out of the north. That'll clear out the skies by tomorrow afternoon. Uh, but what happens by Thursday night, this area of low pressure, you can already see it bring the wet weather to our north. That will drop in. That'll bring us rain Thursday night, scattered showers, maybe even some thunderstorms on Friday. Friday night into Saturday morning, snow levels will drop as low as 3,000 feet. We'll see a lot of snow, uh, but as far as scattered showers on the lower elevations, not much at all. So tomorrow, just expect partly cloudy skies, highs into the 60s, much cooler with rain Thursday night, Friday into Saturday morning, uh, drying up by your weekend, but still on the cool side. Pat and Paul, back to you. All right. February, we, you know, <laughs> we've been dealing with 70s and 80s. We kind of <laughs> like that. We wanted to stay there, uh, but then we got the uh, reminder of how it is still winter. Uh, so temperatures are pretty chilly out there right now, 50s and 60s, and those temperatures will continue to drop. And uh, the bigger story is the clouds and the drizzle that we had placed all day today. That will be the case again for tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, it'll clear up uh, just in time for Thursday night for another storm system to be moving in. Uh, this is definitely a winter storm system because it's got rain and mountain snow. I'll have more on all of that coming up at 6. I like that. <laughs> I know. I, can you believe Mother Nature bringing us winter-like weather in February? This is ridiculous. <laughs> uh, but we, we got spoiled with that nice weather, and a winter is still here, and the winter weather is coming back. So hopefully you've kept all those winter clothes handy. Uh, we're looking live outside right now. You can see I don't see anyone on the pier right now. Uh, it's pretty foggy. We've got a deep marine layer in place, and uh, that's really what was in place all day today. Uh, most folks thought, well, I see the rain today from the drain drizzle from this marine layer. Is this the storm? No, this is just from a very deep marine layer from that onshore flow, kind of like we see in May and June. Uh, but instead, we're dealing with it right now. The rain will be moving in starting Thursday night, so we'll get to that in a moment. First off, uh, let's talk about temperatures from today. Now, with the clouds, with the fog, even a little drizzle out there that kept our temperatures down today, running well below average. Most areas about 5 to 10 degrees below average. Uh, downtown, we should be at 68 today. We 
made it to 60 degrees and it's pretty chilly out there tonight. Uh, we've got temperatures down into the 40s and 50s, even 30s there in Wrightwood. Uh, we're still dealing with the onshore flow, a little breezy there at the coast and definitely on the breezy side in Lancaster up to 21 miles an hour. Uh, this is an interesting picture though. This is a satellite radar. Uh, you can see some of those higher clouds are getting kind of scoured out and the reason is is uh, the winds are going to start to shift from the north and what's going to happen is it's going to start to clear out some of the clouds. So tomorrow is actually going to be nicer than today, although we'll start off with some clouds and fog mainly uh, right around Orange County uh, from that coastal eddy. Uh, and then by Thursday night into Friday, this area of low pressure, we'll be watching that as it dips on in. It'll be bringing us showers, light showers in the lower elevations, but snow levels will be the biggest story with this dropping as low as 3000 feet as soon as Friday night into Saturday morning. Also dealing with some gusty winds and just chilly temperatures, maybe even a few thunderstorms on your Friday. So enjoy tomorrow, although temperatures will still be running below average. We'll see some sunshine uh, and then the temperatures cool down dry this weekend, but definitely on the cool side. Paul, Pat, back to you. Wow. Pretty Scratch good. or ticket? That's pretty good effort. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's impressive. It is. Well, should we start driving a little rough? <laughs> yeah, why not? Huh? <laughs> I'll pay for the gas. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that, half. <laughs> that doesn't sound so bad when you think about it. No, oh, not at all. I, I don't you even were need serious, to take the huh? time to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, if you don't see us, you know where we